In this video, in 4 minutes, I'm going to share with you how to replace the front strut on your favorite Toyota Echo. I got a used one from the local junkyard for $25.99. Pretty good deal. Okay, let's get started. Safety first, e-brake applied, blocking the wheels. Let's lift our car up. Guys, if you first time to the channel, please subscribe, click that notification bell. Very appreciated that. Okay. We're putting the car on a jack stand, make sure it's all safe, as you can see. Yeah, strut started to leak, and I think it's empty by now. Put more comfort, we're in the woods, on the dirt, 21 mil socket. To remove the lug nuts, take the wheel off. Okay, now we're using a digital caliper. Let's measure the distance for the strut mounted to the wheel knuckle as you can see it's pretty easy let's just mark the reference line on a strut and our distance is 76 millimeters 0.70 okay as you can see there's a strut profile is the same on the old strut and the new strut if you go follow that profile and that number we should set on a strut which we're going to install and it will help us to save the camber all right let's undo the abs wire bracket and a there is a one clip on the bottom and let's undo our abs sensor and yeah pretty easy pretty simple okay 19 mil wrench and a socket let's remove the nuts from the strut mounting bolts now we have to get access to our strut tower bolts there's a bunch of fasteners to remove around and yeah that way we can get there guys if you have any questions put them down in the comment section below okay let's just bend this metal part up a bit this cowl and now as you can see we have three more nuts to remove and remember which position that strut was mounted we want to save our caster as well much as possible see it's moving and it was all the way to the front hall and we'll put the new one in the same way and that will take care of our caster okay let's remove the strut bolts they're both out and let's pull the front strut assembly out as you can see it's a macpherson style let's compare the both brackets they're the same same profile this one doesn't leak i got this one for 25.99 and bearing is good on the strut tower all right let's place our used new for us strut in place i started one nut on top let's put one bolt let's put a second one and uh, let's start rest of the nuts and remember putting a studs in same spot we're saving our caster and let's start the nuts okay he's watching us all right let's set our digital caliper to zero and uh, place it in the same place we took a measurements following the strut profile you can refer to those reference marks we did okay we're 76 perfect close enough move wheel knuckle back and forth to set desired distance if you need it all in place and i will tell you it has been half a year when i'm editing this video alignment is good but I will recommend you to go and do an alignment anyway, if you want. Okay, I started tightening my bolts just with a ratchet, checking the, our numbers. Well, good, we set. Let's torque those bolts. I will put some more information down in the description below. Check it out. Let's put the rest of that together in place. Thumbs up if this video is helpful. Thank you so much for your time watching this video and bye-bye.